Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Frontier Force with Larry Chupacabra and Newbington. And um, this episode, we're going to, well, continue crafting and building our wondrous um, farming slash industrial complex crazy enterprise. Oh, and my farm thing for this other thing is falling to bits. Hold on, let me grab some water. <laughs> so it's encouraging. Okay, well, I'm going to get on with making a quarry yep. at the moment. And I am setting up my little, um, it's basically going to become a little, what do they call that? What do they call it when you make, like, a wine plantation? Uh, vineyard? That's the one. I'm making a vineyard right now. Cool. So I've got all these, uh, seeds and ropes and stuff. That I got from the... Oh, actually, I forgot the seeds back in my my box. I got all this stuff to start making a vineyard, and then it won't be very long until we can set it up for making wine and uh, apple cider. Oh my. I like how the, the grape seeds look like a child's imagining of, like, the magic bean seeds from Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> you ever see the Jack and the Beanstalk movie? Um... Trying to think who else was. Is that the one with Ewan McGregor? I don't know. Some British kid was in it. It's like the yeah, Jack yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, legit. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw that movie. That, that was, that was. Uh, you could, you could watch it. I mean, I did watch it while I was drinking, so that kind of added to the ambiance. But to each their own, right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, I already have the fence equipped, so I need three high. Shit. I'll just use this as a, as a stepping stool. I may have plunked a uh, fence post in the middle of nowhere for no seemingly good reason. That's okay, there's one in the corner of our base for reason either. That's so that we always remember Stan. Ah. Although, although, to be honest, he's still hanging out at the back of our base. We could yeah, we, we, we did anything. find him at the end of that other one. That other episode. Yeah, what who else do I need? We could, saving Private Stan. <laughs> Gosh, this rope I mean, stuff for the vineyard vines is a bitch. Yeah, they're a bit janky to place. But you want you get into a swing of it after a while though. There we go. Oh wait, let me make sure I've got the timer going. I do. Fantastic. Um, plunk down some grape seeds. And those will grow. I could also bone meal them, but I left the bone meal back at Noob's area. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, once you get your um, uh, what, uh, press running, your byproduct from squeezing different fruits, and it will make bone meal for you. Aha! Uh -huh. All you need is to make your um, press and make a lever so that you can operate it. Sounds simple enough, I guess. Plunk these down. Yeah. Wait, it's a little bit faster. This is the most exciting stuff you guys have ever seen, I know. It's the best. You've, you've, you've always wanted to make your very own Spishak home vineyard playset. Well, now you can. <laughs> and I think I'm missing something while we're missing one redstone. Need one redstone. Where do I put one redstone? I had redstone on me, but I may have fed it all into the uh, the energized thing. Yeah, the, the barrel store thing is, is getting abused. I just keep taking stuff and not putting it back. I mean, you're the one mining all the materials, so it is sort of your right to do that. Yeah, damn it. you're damn right. Because <laughs> I'm just going to drunkenly come in and filch shit all the time after you get that quarry going. I don't feel bad at it all, about that at all, because I'm well, keeping I'm your ass fed. I'm now in the process of turning some redstone torches into landmarks because the basic setup. Well, actually, I'll show people what the basic size is of a quarry. But the basic size of a quarry isn't that spectacular, but you can make them, you can kind of set the parameters to what you want. Yeah, the basic quarry size is landmarks. kind of balls. Yeah. Because you want, you want um, it to like mine out the maximum space possible, or else you're going to end up setting it over and over again for no reason. Which isn't fun. Kind of tedious, actually. Did you check all the glass? 
I did. I made more of them. Not, not the glass, sorry, the sand. I took one stack of it. I'm gonna need to take some... You only took one stack of sand, there should be half a stack left then. Yeah, and there's also quick the quicksand. Wait, what am I doing? You, you can, although you can just smelt the quicksand into glass as well. Yeah, that's what I did, I smelted it into glass. There should be some ready for you. Because I was going to need more, in short order, to make more okay, transfer it may, nodes. It, it may have proved me a liar, the um, furnace wasn't accepting it to be smelted. Really? Do you want me to, I can bring, well there's more sand up there. No, no, that's fine, I'm just smelting the rest of the sand down balls to it. We'll just have to harvest some more. So, yeah. I've prepared this lovely vineyard, and we want to make fishing traps. Fishing traps are nice, I can just stick them over here, off of this area with like a little wooden wharf, and then we can just get like a bunch of free fish, basically. It's like having crab pots from Deadliest Catch. Yeah, and then we can yep. get, like, random bullshit, like, magic books and stuff for free. And one of the yeah. byproducts of me having a lazy setup for these sprinklers is it's watering the grass and weeds are growing. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, the worst things, you, right? You, you could end up getting some flowers, which we could use for dyes, I guess. I think there are a few uses for dyes. Yeah, I, got, I had some bluebells I threw away. I should probably go back and get some more of those. Yeah. And I'll show you Probably guys like a couple more things here as we go through this episode. The first is the usefulness of cotton. I can put three across the top here, and I can get some lovely string. I can get five string. You know, three pieces of cotton becomes a string, or nine of them become a thing of wool. Oh, and you gave me a golden... Why did you give me this golden lasso, Noob? Oh, that's for later. Oh, okay. I didn't just even realize you gave this to me. Just don't lose it. I don't have the materials to make another one. <laughs> I, I mean, it's golden, man. Because I've got a golden lasso. I'm going to kidnap you and make you my something. Um, Depends what species. If it's a test of Hicket, it's going to be my wife. Um... Don't care if it's got a knob and berries. Just gonna put it in a creepy dress. I mean, okay, maybe this has gotten a little I off think topic. There's a, there's a, I was gonna say, I think there's a point we need to stop. <laughs> there was a point, Larry, where you should have stopped, and we were long past it. Yep, yep. I can see it in the rearview mirror, just vanishing over the horizon. <laughs> um, okay, so this with the power cable. Oh shit! I need to make a decent. And chest. I'm gonna quickly Oops. expand my orchard before I show you the next piece about making bread and feeding the do. world with bread because I'm too lazy to buy everyone Slim Jims. Actually, I think that would be like a, a crime against humanity to feed the world Slim Jims. Oh. But I'm getting a wee bit peckish and we've only been barely able to stay ahead of the whole hunger thing despite me having a bunch of what the heck I'm happened not, here? I'm doing pretty good up here. I had, some, I had a load of carrots in the noms chest. Oh, okay. Because every, every That's time where I've my been carrots went. Up, no, every time I've been coming on here and tinkering, I've been going over to your little farm that's up near our original base, and I've just been pillaging. Them. Oh, yeah! I forgot about that one. We used it for oh, all of yeah. two minutes, and then we forgot about it. I never forgot. I will never forget. I'll always love you, Farmy. Even in our dreams. Okay, so anyway... In my inventory is a bunch of this wheat flour. You just grab yourself up some wheat, you plunk it in a crafting table, and yes, I know I'm inefficiently using this table, and then it just gives you wheat flour. So you get, like, one wheat equals one bread, basically. It just takes a little longer to bake it, is all. Because there's an extra step in there. But it's well worth it. It's one of those few things that isn't, um, ridiculous. Or does it take two? It went, like, twice and didn't give me a bread. Let's see here. Okay. So two flour give you two bread. That's that's legit. I like it. So I've got us some be bread baking. Just fill this up with all some the flour you can hold. B bread baking. B b you leave Timmy and Jimmy alone, damn it. Their stutters are cute and hilarious. And that's what I'm going to tell the judge. I guess I should just um, leave these grape seeds at home, because those aren't gonna, those aren't gonna serve us any purposes until much later. So, um, what's next here? Uh, I've got some seeds. 
I'm trying to figure out how to make a diamond chest and it won't let me. I'm Wait, just going to oh, deposit all of this stuff that I'm currently not using. Can I use rope? Oh, you use lasso to make a rope. That seems sort of stupid. Um, oh, that type of rope yet. Yeah, don't break the lasso down into rope, please. <laughs> Alright, um, to make any additional out. lassos, which is what we'll need for the fish traps, we're going to have to have a boatload of string. And yeah. I've only got uh, five. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean leads. You know, it's, is it leads or is it lassos? Because lassos is just the Lead. lasso. Leads. In that case, yeah, we need, we need string, which means we're going to need some sheepies. Yeah, so we're going to go although, on a little adventure next episode. Ooh. Although, can we break down wool into string in this Actually, pack? to that... I think we need a sag mill. Yeah, we'll... Oh, that's right. Well, if we, we need, need, we need if animals we need one, we'll anyway. Get it set up. We need we animals need one, we'll anyway. Yeah. I'm going to set up a small pen, I think. I'm going to use some of these fur logs to make some sticks. We're going to need a bunch of these. How did this work when you... There we are. 25, that'll do. We'll do just fine. Where do we want our animal pen? We have a puddle of poop over here. I don't know Probably if I introduced people to the turd pool. Um, in this mod pack, that was a great wood sapling. Um, in this mod pack, we have like sludge, and there's also poopy water, and there's also like taint water. And they all just varying degrees of poisoning the shit out of you, basically. Yeah. Um, so you can refine them into fertilizer and to other industrial chemicals, but we can't do that just yet. So we're just going to stay the hell away from that. Um, yep. I guess I could make an evil horse pit. Or Well, we have got that. Um, if we want to store some animals, we can just put them around the back of the base in that like garage that I've made. Since we're going to be going off near this bridge that I built a while ago, um, I am just going to make the pen right here next to this bridge. Okay. And uh, hopefully, you know what, let's go sleep in our beds, noob, because there's a bunch of zombies out here. It's funny, in, in, amongst the like warm, irradiating glow of the magnum torch, I feel fine. Yeah, I'm, weird. I'm not being harassed You're by bastard. anything. In there with the, the safe magnum torch, which will tase the shit out of them if they come near. Yeah. Don't Although tase there is, me, bro. You can, you can, if you make... There's a couple of different methods that you can actually make your own mob spawner amongst the mods that are in this. Um, you can actually kind of override the magnum torch if you have one of those. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, well... Handy and not handy, because if you set them up incorrectly, you can't oh, just end up wait. with shit Oh, wait, I know what I need to build everywhere. this episode. I know exactly what I need to build. Just you guys wait. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm in bed. fuck. We're, we're, we don't have any obsidian, bed? fuck it. I'm going we do to bed. Have, we, we do, we've got 14 obsidian. Oh, okay, I'm going to build this right now, and I won't have to worry about zombies ever again. I bet you know what I'm going to make, noob. Uh, an obsidian box to go over your crotch, I don't know. Well... It's actually not a bad idea. I could do with a, a sharpened obsidian cod piece to air thrust things to death with, but no. I'm going to make something very technical. Something sciencey. Cakey sciencey. Hello. Okay. Are you still there? Oh, oh I, see what you're, I see what you're getting at. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think it was. Make sure, make sure you build them in kind of little bunkers, though. Well, you set them up in little bunkers, though, because remember, if they get bunced once they fall over. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to put them. Yeah, I'll put them in a little bunker. Let's see here. Where was the obsidian? Uh, it's in the blocks chest, I think. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, here we are. I don't need all that. And then what was the recipe? Okay, that's pretty pretty simple, actually. I will make two of them. Oh. They'll, they'll be little pals. They can reproduce that way and kill us all um, in some sort of horrifying robot uprising that we can no longer forestall and stop. Yeah, isn't that the end credits of that game? Um, it was more like mid-credits, because they like, in Portal 2, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you want to play that game because you bought it for this, the Steam Winter Sale, um... They had, like, a clip where it showed that, like, they were trying to legislate against GLaDOS and the, all the portal stuff. 
And then um, she set off one of these turrets to go kill them. Yeah. And that was hilarious. Could you come over here? I'm just digging a uh, series of corridors at the moment to set up the landmarks. And then I can set up the, um, what do you call it, the uh, quarry. Hello. Nice. And we will have delicious everything. Oh crap, actually, um, are you in the main base? I'm outside with my buddies, right. the turrets. Okay. I was gonna, uh, what, something else I want to make before I set this whole thing in motion is a trash can. Because, I mean, I know dirt is useful to an extent, and cobblestone is useful to an extent, but the, the ridiculous amount that you get by quarrying is ridiculous. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a trash can, which works like a um, void chest, which is any item that you put into it is just destroyed. Oh, and it's a, probably a hell of a lot cheaper than a void chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it just costs, I think it's a stone slab, six iron ingots, I think. Yeah. Oh, crap. I fell on top of one of the turrets and killed it. Okay. Pick it up again, though, don't you? Yeah, they, they, they drop immediately if they die. Not that they're particularly expensive little critters in the first place. Yeah. All right, we, we have most of a of a pen. I may have... Well, remember, remember if, you have the, if you have them pointed into the pen, they are going to gun down everything you put in it. Yes, and we will use that later for some automated um, beef refactoring solutions. That sounds like a load of bullshit that someone would believe. Beef perforation. Alright, I'm going to go build us a fence gate, and that's going to be the it for this episode, and then me and Noob are going to go off on a great and magical safari. So, okay. um, we'll have to get all our stuff ready, and then hopefully we'll eventually get enough leather together to make backpacks so we can go on even grander safaris for when we go into the nether portal. Yeah, which we're not actually that far away from being able to do, I think. Yeah, we should be able to do that in short order. Um, I think... I may have accidentally forgotten to place the landmarks. I'm just busy setting up my lasers. You only, uh, Even though I made four of the landmarks, you only technically need three. Very nice. Because it, it makes up the um, other axis on its own. Or maybe ba basic landmarks don't. Yeah. I may have to prove myself a liar again. I'm not even sure where my other one came out. Uh -huh. So this episode is entirely possible to finish with me digging in the dark again. Is there any other thing you do in the dark? I mean, well, don't answer that. Don't answer <laughs> that. All right, so I've got uh, this drunken turret bunker. I think we're set for that. Okie dokie. Well, no, next time it turns night. So, we've been your hosts, Newbington and Larry the Chupacabra. Have a lovely uh, day, evening, weekend, holiday, everybody. And we will catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, hit those annotation buttony things at the uh, end index to check out the other person's perspective. And we'll catch you yeah, next time. So yeah, because Larry's is going to be a lot more interesting than mine right now. Okay, see you next time, guys. Bye.